Do you have a friend that has been diagnosed with BPD and always end up in massive arguments or big misunderstandings? Here are the top 10 things you should never say to someone that has been diagnosed with borderline personality disorder and how you can fix it. You're just completely exaggerating. You're completely exaggerating. You're exaggerating. Most of the time they know very well that they are having an emotional outburst and exaggerate. They are most likely to be having an inner voice inside their head that is saying the same thing, right now. So if you use this kind of sentence or something similar, you become the projection of their pain and might get attacked even more. Why don't you just calm down? Come on, just calm down! Just calm down, man. Just calm down. It's not a big deal. Did you ever tell someone to calm down and it actually worked? If I'm really honest with you, it's just not helpful. If someone is right next to me having an epileptic attack and I tell them to calm down, it's probably not going to work either. And the same occurs to mental illnesses, because they are very, very similar to physical illnesses. And sometimes they are really connected as well. So if you want your friend to calm down, don't just vocalize it, don't just command it. Be loving, be kind, be understanding, maybe give them a hug. And who knows, maybe the table's my turn. Stop crying. Stop crying. Can you please just stop crying? By that, you're not only not helping your friend or spouse or whatever, but you're also telling them to suppress their emotions. Suppressing emotions is never ever a good thing, but especially when it comes to borderline cases, it can lead to emotional crises or in the worst case scenario, even self-harm or suicidal tendencies. Always allow yourself and everyone around you to feel their true emotions, to express and embrace them. Crying is a good thing. It is one step closer to healing. Feel your feels. Just get over it. Get over it. Well, first of all, you're showing no empathy at all, so your friend probably feels misunderstood and unsupported. So try to start with empathy. Especially when it comes to people with BPD, it is very important that their inner circle feels like their go-to place, their little safe space when things get out of control, not like the people around them don't care or don't want to care. Of course, it has a lot to do with their own perception and how they see things and how they see the world, but you have the power to influence that by trying to choose words that sound more neutral or more positive. We all have our own weight to carry. You're not alone, okay? We all have our own problems. While it is indeed true that we all have our own weight to carry, our own problems to take care of, it is just not a nice thing to say. And your friend might feel attacked or left alone. When you cut them off with a sentence like that, it is very likely that they might not open up to you again about their pain or their trauma. They might feel like their pain is not taken seriously, or they might even question the trust in you. I'm not telling you to give up on your own well-being. You have to put yourself first no matter what. Your well-being matters. You can set an example by putting your own needs first. But express your needs in a loving way, in a caring way. I need this right now. I need to take care of myself right now. But that doesn't mean I don't love you. I love you. I care about you. That sounds so much nicer than saying, we all have our own weight to carry. We all have our own problems to carry. So get over it. You're wrong. You're completely wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. When it comes to borderline personality disorder, it is very easy to understand things in a very generalized way, rather than a situational one. So if you use a sentence like that, they will probably believe that there is something fundamentally wrong with their entire personality when you were actually talking about one specific thing. So try to avoid generalized sentences and tend to focus more on specific behaviors or specific actions that you want to talk about. Really, you're just too much. You're just too much. Just can't handle this. You're too much. As a person with BPD, everything is heightened. You feel more widely, more intensely, more strongly. Your own emotions can overwhelm you from one second to the other, and everything can feel like it's too much to cope with. And your sentence 
can make them identify with that feeling. And if they do that, then they might detest themselves or even wanting to punish themselves for being too much. Why do you have to be like that? Why do you gotta be like that? Again, they feel like there's something fundamentally wrong with them rather than a specific behavior, which can lead them to feel very self-conscious or even angry or self-destructive. Just stop acting up like this. Can you just stop acting up like this? Can you just stop the drama? Don't. Just don't. It is not an act. They're not acting up like that. They actually feel that way. The way your BPD friend feels seems unconditionally real and uncontrollable to them. It was caused by post-trauma and many other related things. You might not be able to empathize with that. But I always like to compare it to being on ecstasy or LSD where everything is heightened. The highest highs and the lowest lows. It is not an act. You don't actually want to commit suicide. You just want attention. This is probably the worst one. Always, always take someone's suicide thoughts seriously. Because you might deeply regret it if you don't. Especially when someone opens up about their suicide thoughts, you should be very conscious about your reaction. I'm not telling anyone to be the hero here, but calling a healthline or calling 911 is not going to hurt you and might save someone's life. Unfortunately, many people do not take suicide thoughts seriously, and this can end up very, very bad. If you want to be a caring friend, be a caring friend. If you truly, deeply want to help your BPD friend, do not try to take their pain away. Do not try to be the hero. Instead, be supporting and caring. But make clear boundaries at the same time. They need to find their own ways to help themselves and heal themselves. They need to find their own coping mechanisms to deal with their own issues. They need to choose to go on that healing journey. And all you can do is choose to walk with them. So, do not try to be a 24-7 babysitter. Do not take all responsibility on you. You are your own person and so is everyone else around you, no matter what mental health issues they have. Everyone is responsible for their own actions. Also, don't sugarcoat things. You have to protect your own energy no matter what. But you can do that and at the same time vocalize things more neutrally or positively. For example, say things from a me perspective rather than attacking the you. Speak about your feelings rather than their actions. And this can change things quite a lot. Here are a few examples how you can do that. To be honest, I'm feeling very attacked right now and I need to set some clear boundaries here. I'm feeling very angry right now. This doesn't mean I don't care about you anymore, but I'm very upset. Honestly, I feel very attacked right now. I love you, I care about you, but you cannot disrespect me, so I need to set some boundaries here. I'm sorry what you've been through. I deeply care about you, but I have to take a step back here. Hey, I really need to take some time by myself now. It doesn't mean that I don't love you anymore, but I need to do this for myself now. I feel you. You're not alone in this. I'm here for you. Whatever you're feeling right now, it's okay. Hey, I need to call 911 now because I don't want to watch you committing suicide and I don't know what to do. Please don't be angry with me, but I have to take care of you and this is my way of taking care of you. This might not be true for every BPD case in this world because they vary quite a lot. However, I find it very helpful, not just for BPD cases, but for many other people too. What do you think are the 10 worst things you can say to someone with BPD? And what do you say to de-escalate a situation? Let me know in the comments below and let's keep the discussion going down there. Everyone, stay safe and take care.